I'm Bob Baker with Jazz Guitar Today, and we're here with John Schofield. Hey, John. Bob. <laughs> Listen, man, you you have befuddled me. Uh oh. Your, your new recording, John Schofield, Electric Guitar and Looper. I'm befuddled. I am I am totally befuddled. What are you doing on that record? Are you playing well, slide? Uh, I, I got to tell you, it's 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 pretty incredible. Um, oh, you're frozen on me. Uh, uh, that, but I, I'm back. hearing I'm hearing Jerry Douglas and Rob Ikes playing a dobro all, all over that thing. What what technique are what are you doing? There's no slide. That's just me bending notes and you know going up and down. And uh, I, I do like slide guitar and the vocal element of, of it. But yeah, that's just, there's not a, no slide, that's just finger slides. I, 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 do you have a guitar with you? Is there a guitar close yeah. by? Now, no, okay, this is gonna crack you up um, because I, I had no idea that you thought I played slide on this, but I thought it would be funny to have this guitar out. <laughs> oh, right. I'm not putting a slide on this thing, though. It's, that, it's but like that's, what, that's what this you're recording. Right. But, wow. you know. Is, now, is that the guitar that you used on most of it? or did... I didn't use it on any of it. I that... just played my electric Ibanez guitar. I, I bought one of these just to have fun with. Uh, couple years ago oh uh, mainly i like because it's so loud yeah oh yeah they're definitely loud Reson a resonophonic guitar well i gotta tell you I, I mean aside from the fact that aside from the fact that musically there you gotta come back come back to us john <laughs> aside from the fact that musically it's really adventurous i mean there's no getting around it i mean it's just really adventurous I, I think people got to buy this record just to listen to you do that. I, I, it, it's it, it, the techniques that are you're, you're playing are, I don't know. I, I, I thought for sure that you were playing a slide. I thought for sure. Oh, well, thanks. That's, that's what I'm going for is that vocal element. And, and uh, yeah, you know, I guess uh, that, that's a technique that most jazz players don't use probably, you know, but it's, you know, you can, you can slide around on one string, you know, um, with one finger. I didn't do it so well just then, but you know, that's the idea. And, and even if I'm not doing that, you know, and uh, thank you so much. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just they're just little tricks you learn yeah. over the years, right? And uh, yeah, no, it's 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 pretty phenomenal. And I don't want to get hung up in the in the technique of it. I'd rather talk about the music of it. But I just had to ask that question. Yeah, because, no, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And that's the ultimate compliment that it sounds like a slide because that's what it's supposed to, you know. Yeah, and no, that's I, from hearing all these all these good slide guitar players nowadays. That are post Derek Trucks, who's a you know a virtuoso with a slide, and and I know Warren Haynes, he's really good, you know. Oh and, yeah. And uh, so I, you know, those guys play slide guitar. I don't. I you know that's too hard for me. But I can. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Um, so I remember last time we talked, you were you were telling me about this project. You were spending a lot of time from COVID. Um, kind of by yourself and experimenting with solo guitar. Yeah. And, uh, and so talk about that a little bit. Well, I think a lot of us played solo guitar for two years, you know, in the pandemic. And um, that's really what got me going um, in this direction. And I had never had a um, recording thing at home. Uh, so I was able to, uh, so I bought some stuff and was able to record my electric guitar. Uh, and it's a pretty basic setup, but I was able to just record my guitar and uh, get the sound of a Fender Deluxe. Um, 
and uh, you know, so I had this set up and I started to, to record. And I also, I've for years used this. I'll show you this old pedal, which is the boomerang phrase sampler. It's just a, you know, it's a, a looper. And uh, I actually, before pandemic, I've been playing uh, just a couple of shows just by myself with this thing, you know, which will allows me to uh, to play with myself and right. allows all of us to do that. It's no different from the the busker who's playing Stairway to Heaven, you know, on the street uh, at every uh, you know in in every town, pretty straight ahead. And and I was doing that because uh, I think basically solo jazz guitar is 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 limited in that. You know, we all can kind of play rubato forever, you know, with nice chords and everything. But to get a groove going like you can on piano is hard. And I like to, you know, play in time. And the loop thing has really helped with that. And I've, I've figured out funny ways to try and incorporate that. So it's not quite so obvious, really, that I'm doing it on the live gigs you know mm -hmm. but on this i just you know made a loop of the changes to the tune and then played along and uh turned it on and off you know sometimes i'll play without it then come back into it but yeah so that really developed during covid because i was home alone like everybody home with my wife who doesn't want to come practice guitar with me all day for <laughs> some strange reason can't figure that out and um <laughs> And uh, so I got into it. I also got into playing uh, solo guitar in a way that is uh, it's probably, you know, less than half the record is like that. That's just me. But I, I did, uh, you know, I've been kind of a lead player, you know. If, oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, I learned some chords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the master of understatement. I learned some well, kind of, you know, I got a couple of new ones and, you know, and the other ones I've learned over the years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, it's, it's, uh, it, you know, I, I think you started a new, a new thing. I, I, um, I was listening to what you're doing and the way you were going about it. And I thought, this, this is really fresh. This is really different. It, it's not, you know, it's not like when you say get electric guitar on looper, you're thinking like the guy on the street corner doing stairway to heaven. Yeah. You know, you know what that's all about. You know, you go, oh God, I got to listen to that again. You know, but um, you know the um, your use your use of the looper from you know from my perspective was um, was was I, it, it didn't seem so obvious you were using a looper. I, I didn't. That's I, good. Uh, that's yeah, what I'm trying. Yeah, I didn't feel like I didn't I didn't really go, oh, well, there's the looper, there's John, there's the looper, there's John, you know, and, I mean, you could hear stuff going on, but it, it there's, uh, it, it had a, it, it was definitely fresh. I, I haven't heard anybody take that approach at all. And I enjoyed oh, it. You. I, I now I enjoyed Danny boy quite a bit. And, um, and I think you were employing that technique, you know, that, you know, that single. I probably what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Qu quite a bit. And I thought, man, so the, the record's interesting in that you, I remember you saying it was kind of born out of, you know, uh, I, I guess necessity because you're by yourself and you're going to, yeah. you know, make music and, you know, all that. And, um, and then the tunes, I mean, you, you picked on a bunch of tunes that um, some traditional tunes, obviously Danny boys in there, some, um, some, mm -hmm. you know, some jazz tunes, there will never be another you was in there and a few others as well. And, and there's some unique approaches to those tunes as well. And then, you you drew on some of uh, some of your your tunes that you had recorded. Some I, you know, previously. Mostly my older yeah. tunes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, dusting those babies off, put a new can of spray paint on those things, and, uh, and, and yeah. with, a, with a with a fresh approach. And I just I just think well, first of all, I admire that you that you did it because it's that that kind of a, a kind of a gutsy move, but. Uh, but you pulled it off, and not only did you pull it off, but you pulled it off really, really. I mean, it's 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 a fun listen. It's a very oh, fun good. listen. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, you know, I just you know, I, I like I said, I did it because I was home alone for so long, and I, and just really wanted something to do. <laughs> and you know, it's funny when you record yourself at home, which many of you out there have done. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't realize. The problem is it's too easy. You can press record every day. You know, if you do that for a week, then you have, 
15 hours of music to listen to, right. which is way too much. <laughs> so what I found that I that I really had to step back because I had too much stuff mm -hmm. to, to say, well, what's you know, if I'm going to make a record, which stuff should go on it? And that I kind of hate that, you know, of having to listen to yourself and pick the best parts. But, you know, after a while, I just said, OK, I'm going to pick these. And then I didn't do anything for a couple of months and then went back and said, are these OK? And I listened to them. And said, OK. And I didn't go and I'll never, I hope, have to go back and listen to the, you know, 25 hours of solo guitar to, to see if I was picked the right stuff. Um, but that's that's the problem we have with technology now. We can we can record pretty easily. Good news and the bad news, you know, it, it yeah. really is. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, what, what's interesting um, is the tone on the guitar, uh -huh. you know. So you could have told me you were playing it on an acoustic guitar. And really? I, okay. I would have, I would have, I would have believed it because I'm hearing a lot of string sound. So let me ask you that question. Did you put a mic in front of the guitar? Okay, as well? I did not. I, and that's what made it easy. As I, I, there's a thing called the Universal Audio Ox OX. I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, and I got one of those, and they're kind of expensive, you know. But I got one, and what it is is it's um, on one hand it's a attenuator. Right, which allows you to turn your amp to the volume that you like it at, so it's all fat and everything, without playing too loud and and bothering the neighbors. But it also has um, a, a stereo out, where you get the sound of the amp you're playing through, mm -hmm. but not using a speaker. The stereo out has a speaker emulation. Right. So it's got a microphone and a speaker emulation that can sound like, you know, a 12 inch uh, Celestian in a Vox cabinet with a, a some sort of Neumann mic that's and they can tell it how many inches away from the speaker it is and everything. And I just use the presets on it. There are six presets and they sound great, you know, and I had it, But then afterwards, I gave it all to an engineer who mixed it for yeah. me. Which, between what he did was he mixed the looper track along with the re right. live guitar and uh then he added some reverb and eq and stuff well it 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 came out great because i i could have sworn i mean i would have said well how did he record if someone did someone ask me to write out what did i think was happening i would say well he's either playing an acoustic guitar but it says it says electric guitar and looper or he's He's playing as Ibanez, and he's got a microphone. He's, he's miking the guitar cabinet, and he's miking the, the guitar acoustically. Yeah, and he's which was a, a way to do it. I've, I've done that in the past, yeah. but that's not what I did this time. But somehow <laughs> it just came out. Uh, there was enough string in there somehow. I don't know. It, but it, you know, you know what I'm saying. Then I mean, you hear what I'm talking about. It's got a real acoustic yeah. string sound to it. And yeah, it's really really cool. I played and, softer. I had the amp right at the place where it sounds fat to me, but where it's not breaking up a whole lot. Around on five some on the deluxe. On the deluxe. And, yeah. and on some of the tunes, I, I probably turned that up. So it was, you know, on the little more rocked out sections. Right. But mainly I, I had a cleaner sound than on some of my other records, which made it, maybe that sounds more acoustic, uh, you know? I don't know. All I know is it, it sounded very, I've never heard it. I've never heard uh, an Ibanez, and a deluxe reverb sound like that. Wow. Yeah. Well, who knows? <laughs> no, but, but I think it's got something to do with the ox and having the 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 ability to, you know, kind of emulate. Because I mean, those guys at Universal know what they're doing. They and, sure do. Yeah, and so I think that that emulation, um, you know, came through really, really well. I mean, it, it, it's a cool record. I mean, it's a very, very cool record. I, I think I think your fans. Um, I think your fans will be really interested to see what you did. And I think, I think they will be very happy, you know, to hear what's going I, on. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's really creative and, and people that, that, you know, don't, you know, know you some like the, some from funk world, if you will, and, and all the stuff mm -hmm. you've done in the past and are known for. Um, I think they're like me. I think they're going to be really surprised. I think they're going to go, wow, this is, this is interesting. I guess, you know, um, when you're just on your own, yeah. maybe more stuff comes out, you know, um, than when you're playing with a band and, and you're, you know, this, this, I really did feel like I had the opportunity and wanted to explore 
various areas, you know. And, right. Yeah. So cool. So that so the, the the record I think is just coming out now, isn't it? Isn't it just yes? It comes out uh, uh, May sixth. Oh man! Well, and there's advanced advanced. You can download one tune on April first and another tune on April twenty second. I think is the schedule they have for the. You know, you can pre order now. Sure. All that, but the actual it's it's beginning of May that you can uh, technically. It's when it was released. So the album cover, is, it strictly just says John Schofield. And then on the second page, it says John Schofield, electric guitar and looper. <laughs> so yeah. so, so the, the, I just sort of sent him the credits. And then uh, um, Manfred Eicher at ECM said, well, we'll just call it John Schofield. Yeah. And, uh, and then John, and then maybe the name of the record is actually John Schofield, Electric Guitar and Looper. I'm not sure what the name of the record is. Now, now who, did, who did the cover art? Was that something that Isn't you? That beautiful. That's you know, ECM. Those guys uh, are really into to uh, fantastic uh, artwork, and that Manfred Eicher uh, picked that wow. picture. And uh, it says who who the photographer is. I, I don't have it right in front of me, but uh, it's pretty cool. I didn't know if that was like a, you know you know a, a scene from outside of a summer cottage you were at or something yeah. like that. Yeah, or... no, well, it looks like actually a, a, my wife and I and family have often gone to Hatteras in North yeah. Carolina. Yeah. It sort of looked like where we used to go there, but uh, my wife was funny because we have a dog that we got during uh, COVID. You know, during yeah. the pandemic, a little rescue dachshund. She saw the cover and she said. Well, that's really great, but uh, our our dog Gunner, he's going to be so jealous, you know. <laughs> well, uh, and, uh, I'm gonna... not my dog, but I do have a dog. Well, I've got a flat coat retriever, and he's black, and he looks just like that. Yeah, <laughs> so, it be your record cover, bud. Well, I don't know, but it says John Schofield on it, and, and I can't play like you, John. So I don't know about all that, but man, but it's it's really it's really. It's really cool. So are you going to try to tour with this thing by yourself? Are you going to? Well, I have been. I've been doing some gigs already. I, I you know, it's sort of around on the East Coast solo. Uh, I did a, a few around the East Coast. And then I have a tour with my group, you know, and, and uh, then I'm going to go also a bunch of West Coast dates, a few solo gigs in uh, October. And uh, probably in a year's time, I'm sure I'll do a, a, a tour playing solo. Very cool. So how does it feel when you walk out on stage? By well, it, you know, because, OK, it probably for in the last five years, four years, I have done before COVID two years, I had done two solo tours of Europe where oh, okay. I played like 12 gigs a piece. Right. Oh, okay. And I got kind of used to it from those tours. Mm -hmm. um, and it really helped me. Before that, I had done a couple of solo gigs in my career, and those were disasters as far <laughs> as me emotionally, for yeah. sure. And, and it's, you know, first of all, just playing like a solo gig without that looper, I, I don't know. Andre Segovia, I am not. And, uh, but it felt so lonely. And, and then, you know, but now I'm used to it, and I really like it. And I've kind of got my routine down. I've got uh, things I can do, you know, right. by myself. So I, I, I'm really into it. So I've done a bunch of gigs. I did another bunch of gigs in Europe in January, and uh, I really enjoy it. Oh, man. Well, that's really great. I was just going to ask you, so you, but you are going back out with the, the full band. Um, I'm going out with a new group that I've started, which I call Yankee Go Home with... Uh, 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 because we always play in Europe, you know, so I'm you know, these Americans coming over here and playing their shit for us. But uh, I, um, it's got a good, it some good guys, John Coward on keyboards, uh, uh, Vicente Archer on the big string bass, and a new find for me anyway, Josh Dion on drums, who's this rock and drummer who can play interactive and just a great musician. Oh, that'll be fun. That'll be, that'll be really fun. Uh, I'm, I'm, and we've been we've been hitting it and and doing different kinds of stuff and covering some uh, rock classics. And I wrote a whole bunch of new kind of backbeat tunes. Right. Um, that that we're playing, and uh, we'll go record that at some point. And uh, yeah. 
Well, I won't keep you too long. I just wanted to, you know, I just want to talk to you about this new project and see, catch up with you and all of that. And I, Thank I, you so I, much. I, I appreciate your time. Is there anything you want to say before we say goodbye? We got the new record. It's called John Schofield, Electric Guitar and Looper. I'm going to call it that. It's really cool. I highly recommend you guys pre-order it because it's it's really it's really cool. I I I, I am I was uh, stunned is a little bit too strong a word, but I was really stunned. Well, that's good. I was, I was that's, very that's, that's the good thing. I'm 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 so happy that you yeah. that you're buying. Yeah, that no, you're going it, for it. No, it was it was it's very it's very very cool, and, and I, I think you're I I, I think it's a, a new thing. I, I think it's really really cool. So anyway, John, thank you so much, man. I really you appreciate brought. it. Good luck with this. Good luck, jazz guitar uh, people yeah, in the world. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, and uh, you know just, what it is. You just got to practice. You put in the time. You'll see the results. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is. Just <laughs> put a lot of work. There's, there's no. Yeah, there's no escaping the hard work. That's for that's for yeah. damn sure. So, Bob Baker, John Schofield for Jazz Guitar Today. Thanks, John. Good luck with everything, buddy. Thank you, Bob. Take Bye. care, man. You too, buddy. Bye, bye now. Bye.